This has surprised me and this is amazing. I didn't know that Lady Gaga could sound like this. So before these videos, I always make sure to listen to some music that will get me in the right mood. For this one, it was Stormace or La Rondance. I hope that was a good choice. I hope it was a good choice. Lady Gaga's with the fame. This is either going to make me really uncomfortable or it's going to be the best time I will ever have in my entire life. Now, I'm just going to make sure that we're above 30 seconds. What I wanted to say, um, do you know the pussy wagon? The pussy wagon? The pussy wagon! Together we had seen the telephone music video. Um, but we still got to do like the other half of it since it's kind of like a very cinematic one where there is a first and a second part and I haven't done the first part and we just switched to the second which was a little bit confusing because there was more things gonna happen since she was like in jail and a bunch of stuff. But the pussy wagon, if you remember the video, the pussy wagon, I told you the pussy wagon, I had seen that somewhere before. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna purchase a pussy wagon myself. I had already purchased a pussy wagon keychain which I will attach to my car key does that make my car the pussy wagon no do you have a pussy wagon no yours is called a pussy mobile why because you're a bitch me for myself I'm also a bitch which is why also I will only have the pussy mobile but I won't have the pussy wagon unfortunately so let's just start first song called just dance just dance uh, let's dance David Bowie just dance I ah, know Colby O'Donis, okay, American singer-songwriter, and Red One, who is Morocco, moved to Sweden, not the only one. You will literally see this is her breakout album. Her and Kanye were supposed to go on tour together the year after, I believe 2009, which they didn't do, which they didn't do after the uh, incident at the VMAs, unfortunately. So if Kanye says this is lit, I'm assuming it, it's going to be a good time. I don't know. We will try. Do I not wait? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it back, but I know the song. At least I know the, the opening. Akon, what? Wait, is this, this is not Akon? No. What the fuck? Okay, hey, yo, yo, yo! Okay, th this is very 2000s. <clears throat> Everybody, chill. This is my time, essentially. Go, wing on on the floor. I know this fucking song! And, and uh, some parts of it. Just dance, baby, okay. Hey, God, what is her real name? I'm just gonna call her Gaga. Gaga, the. What does she know about Polaroids? Probably the most famous trans woman ever. Nice. I didn't expect we were gonna go this far. We're all getting hosed tonight. Like, we're also getting hosed, but we are also getting wet because we're sweating so much. Girl, sign me up. Okay, by the way, I don't know. <laughs> okay, Colby O'Donnell's. Okay, I was gonna say very unusual. Uh, I'm assuming this is all meant for the fucking club. Akon, Colby O'Donis. This is giving me Tayo Cruz vibes. It's uh, don't get me wrong. It's fucking amazing. That's uh, this. This is the music where I would argue this reminds me of my childhood because I have heard some part of it, but I, I, I didn't know what was her. Anyways, uh, I was gonna say very surprising to like have this kind of a verse on the like on a fucking club banger, but right now. We took out most of the instruments, and this is gonna be amazing. Work with her soul. I gotta just stay close 
Oh, this is unusual. For f uh, okay, I, ma'am, I respect you because usually, at least nowadays, like you can predict ninety nine percent of the fucking songs, which is unfortunate. But right now, here, we have first we have an interlude before or afterwards we have a breakdown, and then we have a bridge. Usually you just put a bridge here, but not the fucking Akon part and uh, the, the, the second breakdown. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, take it back a couple of seconds. I respect that. I respect it. Listen to that. Listen to the. Listen to the. Listen to the fucking beat. Listen to the. Okay, we're gonna have a good time. We are gonna have a good time. I didn't think we were, but we will be having a good time. Because this is unusual. And, and, uh, it is! Fuck it, let's, let's continue. Love game. Second song, Red One again. The producer. Let's have some fun, okay? Let's have some fun, this beat is sick. I wanna take a ride on your disco stick. Let's have some fun, this... Okay, and do I know... I, from the past song, I knew maybe 20%. I don't know any of the verses, any of anything. I just know that melody from somewhere. The same goes with this intro. Let's have some fun. The beat's so sick. I have heard it somewhere before. Complicated and stupid. Got my ass squeezed by sexy Cupid. Guess who wants to play? Wants to play? Okay, I only know this one part where where she says, "Let's have some fun at disco stick." I want to take a ride on your disco stick. That's the only part I know. I'm, I'm very surprised. I at least have. I, I can't remember hearing it, but I know it from somewhere. I'm on a mission, and it involves some heavy touching. Yeah. You've indicated your interest. I'm educated in sex, yes. And now I want it bad, want it bad. I love game, I love game. You gotta respect her, though. And you also gotta respect one red, right? Right? Or red one, okay. You gotta respect red one as well as her. I don't I I can't quite put my finger on it. But although it's a very simplistic beat like we have the percussion end towards the chorus we also have the the snares ch -ch 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 -ch. and apart from that it's really just driven by the by the synth loop the synthesizers these right here and then a clap okay I can definitely see why Beyonce and Kanye like her. Well, uh, okay, Beyonce's music, from what I have heard of her so far, is also very sex-driven. And Kanye is probably the biggest fucking porn addict I know. Okay, paparazzi. I definitely have heard of this, right? Take a look at that. Uh, new producer, we don't know him. Lady Gaga paparazzi. I'm pretty... I have to know this. But again, I, I see why why they would have gone on tour together. Because 808's and Heartbreak is very, like, very robotic, very technological sound. Her as well. It's good. It's good. And generally, there's, like, a, a similar approach to music. Now 
Okay, I've uh, and, uh, some parts of the first two, I've known all of them so far. What the actual fuck? I think the right term would be eargasm. And um, how was this album perceived when it came out originally? Because it is, it, it is unique. It is unique. Of course, there were the, like overall the more electronic sound was quite popular, but this is especially this beat right now. That is very unique. I'm very interested in the hook now, in the bridge. Holy fucking shit. And she knows, bro, this is this isn't even for the club. This is meant her third refrain, her third chorus is has always been so far the fucking baddest. Not like in a good way. I mean, even right now. And although that's a very like normal thing to do that for the last one, you kind of just take the instruments out for the first half of it and then you bring them in. This is I don't know, this is uh, this is giving me, we, we are going to go to the fucking show. This is going to, the crowd is going to sing Papa, Paparazzi. And overall, okay, Just Dance, Love Game, Paparazzi. Kind of a love story so far, right? I mean, at the beginning, she said we're kind of just like partying and there's a bunch of hot people around you, I, everybody else. A love game intensified that one. And right now we are kind of paparazzi being crazy about one interesting 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 let's see where this goes i won't stop until the boy is mine let's see if that's the case next song poker face red one again i'm gonna say something after after we listen to the track Okay, okay. <laughs> I want to hold them like they do. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck me. How old was she? Why are we always why are we always why are we already doing dad jokes? It's the first album. Girl, please come on. Let, let at least on the 4th or 5th then we can bring them out. Dad jokes, like corny as lines. But the first fucking verse, the first fucking line of that verse of the fourth song on the first record. I wanna hold them like they do in Texas, please. And after he's been hooked, I'll play the one that's on his heart. Oh, 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 At least we have had the poker theme going on for a little longer. Russian 
This woman is horny. Very much so. Okay, I actually knew Poker Face. Obvi Dude, obviously I knew Poker Face. I hadn't listened to it in like, I don't know, 10 years, but I definitely knew it. And I know that it's about like faking an orgasm. By the way, um, Kid Cudi, Carmen, Kanye, Make Her Say, originally titled Poke Her Face, but it wasn't really radio friendly enough. So they um, called it Make Her, Make Her Say. Uh, listen to it. It's a, it's a really, really cool adaptation of this beat. Or not this beat, but just of um, her singing based on some almost a cappella version, uh, which I had listened to because I was very interested in the song. It's bro, fucking amazing. Uh, just low key or very simplistic Kanye beat. And all of them going nuts over it. <laughs> but uh, I'm nutting over them. No, but uh, I think Lady Gaga also said in an interview that she mainly let uh, Kanye use this song um, because Kanye very much understood wh what it was about. And I can't see how somebody could not see what it's about. I mean, the poker face, for f fuck her face. By the way, fucking someone's face in a blowjob, that's a big difference. That you have to acquire different a different skill set to be good in both. Being good at one doesn't mean that you're good in both of those two. Just, just, just say. But I think now I, I can't know any of the other songs, right? I mean, sure, Poker Face I knew, but uh, this, I can't know all of all of them. So far, we are. I am four for four. I've known four songs, all of them. By the way, I had also prepared this really bad joke that I just like mid video decided not to do, but it was essentially. I thought, hey, guys, uh, it's related to one of her public stunts that even I had had notice of, which is like, look at me. I know you can't see it. It's meat. Okay. It, it is meat. So I'm like gluing meat onto myself. And I wasn't going to do it. But she, since she said, uh, like, uh, I want to hold them like they do in Texas. Now, now I've done it. Okay. Thank her. It's, it's her fault that I did it. I'm not proud of myself either. I feel ashamed. <sighs> Nothing else I can say. I don't know why, but it's giving me a little uh, La Isla Bonita by Madonna vibes. This is weirdly, it sounds weirdly childish. What was it? Oh, as, I'm looking, right now I'm just enjoying because at first we had this like kind of party sequencing and right now we are surprisingly, I don't know. So far like the first four songs had a very similar sound spectrum and this is just totally different also given the this little xylophone dun, 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 dun. we had a really good time stop the cap we heard we heard in the last song there wasn't a good time but yeah um happens doesn't it and she's also found somebody new that's gotta hurt he can't fuck you find somebody new he's also cute and funny 
cut the old guy off. Give me the chainsaw. I'm cutting that tree that he's sitting on. Again. Third chorus. Probably the nicest way to end things. At least it sounds very lighthearted. The message isn't. And I don't I, I don't want to click the annotation, but on the first or second song when they fell in love, I believe it was the second one, um, she also referenced cherry pie, that it feels like cherry pie. So maybe now cherry pie, boom, boom, it's gone. Maybe. The producer of his track goes by the pseudonym of cherry, cherry, boom, boom, his real name. Okay. Uh, my interpretation is still better. Because we had mentioned the cherry pie when we fell in love and now it's over and now we don't mention it anymore. Oh, it is gone. It has blown up. Give me the nuclear codes, type them in. Poof. Okay, uh, beautiful, dirty and rich. Dirty, rich. Okay, this guy on the... Uh, he did... Did he do paparazzi? No, 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 no. Did he do paparazzi? He, nah, maybe. But this guy... This producer, he always sounds very hip-hop-like, his production, especially the percussion. Very 90s hip-hop. What the fuck? Okay, give her space to unfold. Okay, maybe this might be my favorite song so far. Wow, it's cool. It's fucking cool. At first, I thought during the first verse, since we always had the little, like, the piano and whatnot. But during the chorus, it's all getting tied together. Actually, uh, that's why I did the plus, because nowadays Spotify doesn't have the heart anymore. It's just kind of a plus to add it to your playlist or loved songs. This is probably... It's fucking cool. It's cool. Also doing the thing. This is what I mean when I say I do I do like unusual shit. It's kind of... It's kind of, it's kind of a mixture. Because those little... With the bass... Is giving... 70s? 70s funk? Because you can tell the producer's just having fun with it. And she is too. And I never heard Lady Gaga like this before. The guitar. This is what I mean. It's fun. The bass also, he just added a bunch of fucking instruments. I like that because so far it's been very artificial, but right now it's kind of like we're going back to classic and she can pull it off. She can fucking pull it off. But we're obviously the first song for me that comes to mind when I hear this bang, bang. 
is um Kanan with Adam Levine. She was walking around with a loaded shotgun, ready to fire me a hot one. It went bang, 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 straight through my heart. I knew I could have walked away. Uh, I also listened to that song before this video to kind of just like, I don't know, get hyped. So I like that. I like it a lot. Good song. I probably just put the original over what I just sang because mine's going to sound fucking horrible. But uh, you get what I mean. Um, the fame. Title of the album. We're becoming famous. Maybe. It's again Martin or Boom Boom Cherry Cherry. Cherry Cherry Boom Boom. Okay. I can't help myself. I'm addicted to a life of material. It's some kind of joke. I'm obsessively opposed to the typical. All we care about is runway models, Cadillacs, and liquor bottles. It's very interesting. After we cut off the first four songs, like the singles, I assume, for, for this record, we totally switched in in the overall sound yeah sure there's also like very synthesizer driven but it, it it did change a lot the overall sound it's it's not really very disco or club wise it's just like music Don't ask me how It's always the third chorus. I told you guys. It's always the third. But again, it's it's kind of tying this knot between a, a, almost 30, 40 years of music with this little guitar riffs which is super fucking 70s funk and then combining it with a very even i'm argued like when did this come out 2008 right yeah 2008 uh, even now 15, 16 years later it's still kind of it, I, I wouldn't say futuristic but it still sounds very modern and even the message of the entire song is still quite modern, uh, even though some things have changed. But overall, it is still fucking relevant today, which is kind of sad that we haven't evolved at all over the past 16 years. But um, yeah, what you want to do? But yeah, like this is literally uh, it's it, it had it has only gotten worse. Also with the part which she where she says she wants to be like on the on the TV, right? Hollywood. Yeah, uh, I can see myself. In the... I haven't watched any of her movies, but I know that she has become a part of the movie. So good for her. Um, but yeah, like replace this with social media, and you essentially have what's going on nowadays. Also, uh, photograph my mind. Um, yeah, this is still. Very, very modern. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And again, uh, what I was saying, the third chorus. And for the third chorus to be hitting like that, you need to have like every single part of the overall instrumentals we already have established need to be incredibly catchy to the point where we can only have the beginning of them right here or only like one of them play during the beginning of the third chorus and it's still like that's i don't want to say the best part but it's fucking amazing money honey she has said it on uh, aa nothing else money honey and it reminded me of beyonce's renaissance don't be funny with my money honey 
Red One is back. Okay, Red One. Our hit producer. That's him. Signature. Okay, we just now uh, went back to the sound of the first four songs. It was a nice break in between. Now we're kind of back to that. I, am, I, I will not complain. Very interesting because I had just thought that we were kind of superficial for the part, like most of this record so far. And I was wondering if there's more to this personality, like more to Lady Gaga than just uh, party, sex, money and fame. As, because I, I thought the same fucking thing just right now. And out of a sudden, she she responds. She, she responds. <laughs> But very interesting, very interesting because I thought about it. How if, if there's more? Okay, Space Cowboy Flow Rider. Oh God, uh, Martin again, Cherry Boom Boom, and Space Cowboy Jean Pierre, which is gonna be good because if we have electronic music, we gotta have at least one French motherfucker on the record as a producer then it's then it's going to be good starstruck okay very interesting but we we keep on going with the overall how do i do how do i say this well starstruck the fame the money we're, we're keeping that on groove slam work it back filter that baby bump that track Gra -ga in the room so starstruck cherry 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 boom boom Rolling out to the club on the weekends, standing up to the beat that you're freaking. Fantasize on the track like a tweak and blow my heart up. Put your hands on my waist, pull the fader, run it back with original flavor. Cue me up, I'm the 12 on your table. I'm so starstruck. I'm so starstruck. Baby, could you blow my heart up? I'm so Lady Gaga walked so Charlie XCX could run. That's that's what I'm noticing right now. That is what I'm noticing right now. Okay, how how is gonna, how is Florida gonna fit in? I already wondered after the first ten seconds what is Florida gonna do on this beat. Okay, I gotta remind myself that it's 2008 and maybe it was cool in 2008. It, was it cool? S swagger. Uh, I can tell you that um, what definitely wasn't cool ever, like ever, ever, was saying the girl all stuck. I should have had an overdose to many Starbucks. <sighs> I can't. I simply can't. Move slam, work it back. Baby bump that track. 
play the song at 1.25 speed and you literally have a fucking Charlie XCX song. But I'm just, I felt a little kind of uncomfortable because it's a song about, it's kind of meta. Because overall, the song is like a combination of uh, describing music and then again, turning it fucking sexual. Like Groove Slam, okay, Groove and Slam, not so much, but uh, filter that baby bump that track. Uh, but overall, like the, the part where she just again announces everybody, Gaga's in the room, Space Cowboy's in the room, Cherry Cherry Boom Boom. And overall, the ana analogies, the metaphor. Let, let's just let's just say metaphor, uh, the the metaphor for for all of it. I'm so starstruck, baby, because you blow my heart up. But she be fucking around a lot, a lot. I know the next song is called Boys, Boys, Boys. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, red one again. I only know Girls, Girls, Girls by uh, Jay Z, the Blueprint. Very, like, very classic song. Hey, the sugar baby saw you twice at the pop show. You taste just like little mixed with boys, boys, boys. We like boys and cars. Boys, boys, boys. Buy us drinks and bars. Oh, 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 oh. Baby is a bad boy with some retro sneakers. Let's go see the killers and make out me. I fucking hate that this, that this works for me right now. See, I never owned Air Force Ones or any of those fucking Nike shoes. But two days ago, I th I thought, okay, come on, let's 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 at least try it. So I ordered some New Balances 550s and uh, those classic retro Reeboks. They'll arrive tomorrow. We will see whether or not I like them. I will uh, I'll probably make a story about it because I, I had never done that. I had never been so fucking shallow like those Air Force Ones with some uh, light wash jeans on top of them. Because that's, that is fucking basic, okay? Maybe you wear that. Okay, bitch, I know what kind of person you are. But uh, yeah, now I kind of have given in. So, fuck. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad that she called me out 15, 16 years ago. I don't, I don't feel bad, but I feel, I feel called out now that she mentioned it 60 years ago. Fuck, shit. Damn. Fuck you, Lady Gaga, for making me uh, be reflective. It's always unusual for me. Again, as I said, I know Girls, Girls, Girls by Jay-Z, which is very different and it talks about a lot, a lot of different things. It's, it's, it's just always funny to see the, the other side uh, as, a, as a say. Okay, Paper Gangster, Red One is the producer. Let's see. If it drop a superwoman chick, you know that I am some shit don't fly by me in the man could paper gangster won't sign away my life to someone who's got the flavor but don't have no follow through don't want no paper gangster Dwin uh the flow seems <laughs> right we know that Thank you. 
little shiny to start Want me to sign there on your Range Rover heart I've heard it before, yeah, the dinners were nice Till your diamond words melted into some ice You should have been wrapped under the beat of my song Mr. California, paper gangster raw I'm looking for love, not an empty page Full of stuff that means nothing but you pimp a lay Cause I do not accept any less than someone just as real as fabulous Don't want no paper gangster Won't find a way my life to The melody doing the chorus is really throwing me off I want you to be good I, I believe I, Is it a circus song? It's definitely some very, very it, it, It's very weird But I definitely know the melody from somewhere And I, I can't focus on anything else but that Okay, interesting. Either she, since she had referenced Def Jam at the beginning, Def Jam, obviously, record label, um, it's either about something like that, since uh, I don't do no funny business, I'm not interested in fakers, once I know monkey papers, cause, I mean, we all know that you're just getting fucked over by record labels, or it, my other thought was maybe something to do with somebody who's just pulling off a show and uh, on paper they're like, yeah, I'm so fucking cool and I don't know, got all these things, but whatnot and in real life they're just like fucking loser i don't know uh, one of those two things but i'm pretty sure it's for uh right paper gangster what does it say is someone who has money but uses it for the wrong reasons like using money to buy someone's love mm -hmm. i don't know i think overall the sometimes i felt so deaf in the jam but the ones who loved me told me to stop like homegirl can't catch shit if it drop i like to think it's actually like about the music industry generally i think but that's up to anyone else oh rob is back rob has always has always been delivering brown eyes brown eyed girl we know that song by bro that is fucking old some some uh, he has some some dutch name fan dot 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 okay brown eyed girl He's delivering again. Oh my god. On the last song, we also had piano at the beginning. But right now, the piano is way smoother, almost. Oh, baby. Baby. Gaga, you got me. Again, again. And also, do, do, baby, do, 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 see, never be enough for you. It reminds me of a, of a, of a different R&B song, I know. And now the piano. Ooh. Rob. Robster. Rob Fusari. That's my man. That's my man. This is the kind of music they play in those uh, Hollywood high school movies, right? This, this is or right? This is gonna be like very, very high schooly. I don't know. But this is this is another another line. And then rub with the guitars, with the e-guitar always. See, this is, uh, this is, 
If this was the 2000s high school or college rock band, I, I, it's, it's, it's this genre, you know, that, that it always sounds the fucking same. Not always sounds the same, but it's just this very specific kind of sound. And if they had a ballad, this is what it would have been from a, like a 2000s teenage rock band. This is it. In your brown eyes, I was feeling low about you and how I lost you. But again, also uh, the, the entire topic of the song and this, if only we were all, it's a high school song. Come on, guys. It wouldn't surprise me if she said she wrote this when she was, I don't know, 17, 18. And Rob too, Rob, Rob Fusari, he also wrote it when he was 18. I don't give a fuck. He, on this photo, he seems like he's 50 some, but uh, he was 18 when he wrote it, okay? And your brown eyes. Rob using normal instruments, not making it so electronic. Whole different vibe to the entire song, to the entire record. I like it. Next song is called I Like It Rough. Okay. Also, I also have brown eyes, so I can finally relate. Gaga got lost in my eyes, in mine. I wanted to say uh, I unfortunately can't see hers, so... Maybe she has brown, although I don't think she has. Doesn't she have uh, green eyes? I have, I don't, I don't fucking know. Why Why would I even say it? Wait, is a song written in 2006? Okay, so two years earlier. I don't know how old she was in 2008, but at least it's a little, little earlier. Should we read the actual concept of, I mean, what, what concept? A love lost, yeah. No fucking shit. That's what I said. High school song. Okay, I like it rough. Martin, Martin is back. Cherry, cherry, boom, boom. Pretty cool, so far. This might be my favorite Martin Kirschbaum song so far, right? Martin, yeah, Kiss, Kiss and Baum. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it is. And now we're wondering why, why do we like it rough? Also, she had talked about it, although it was more sexual on the first couple of songs that she likes it rough, Call Me Your Mistress. But I think this is that she just generally likes it. Also a bit like a rougher relationship. Or This is not good. We need the next song. Wait. Who prepared this? Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, Joshua Schwartz and Brian, we haven't had any of those people so far. Summer Boy. Okay, okay, okay. We are. This is going to be very different. We already had yet the first two seconds.
this is such a fucking the way the she, she changes so many in the courts this is so don't get me wrong i like it because it's a nice contrast to this very like red one and martin kirstenbaum whatever um it's it's a very nice contrast to those very very electronic club beats to have this again I, I usually I would have called it a boy band or like rock band, teenage rock band, 2000s. It's it's very nice to have that. I mean, again, this I don't want to say it's my favorite song, but the melody during the chorus is fucking amazing. And towards the end. And it's cool to see that Gaga can put it, can put it off. you shared wait did i say green eyes i hope i did i told you on the fucking two songs ago that she i assumed she had green eyes i'm right i'm right I think it sounds like this because it's supposed to be a very light-hearted this this song essentially the sound of it feels like a summer love light-hearted easy you know good just overall good experience hey there, It's another plus to the playlist. I just realized I don't know. I do not know what this woman like. What her voice actually sounds like. Because so many different versions of it we've had. Obviously, uh, obviously at the beginning, the first five songs, very electronic, uh, quite a lot of uh, auto-tune, even to the point where it's supposed to sound robotic. And right now, this sounds like a completely different woman. Disco heaven. Rob, my man. My man. Look at him with his choker and his blonde hair. All of it. Okay. This is the last song already, damn fuck. But it's it's a rub. We we couldn't go we couldn't end this on a better note than Rob Fusari, who is amazing. <laughs> okay, this is the fucking 80s. Like disco. I'm telling you, Rob Fusari. He's number one producer on this record. I know people are going to be like, no, Red One is better, or Martin Kissenbaum, or whoever. No. Rob. Rob Fusari. And again, she sounds totally different than on the last song and the song before that. She just, uh, what the fuck?
Plus. Let's get it! I gotta say though, um, again, like if you know my channel for a little bit, I haven't listened to pop music from the past 20, 25 years, but 80s, 90s, that's in my humble opinion, peak pop music. And this is fucking 80s. This is an 80s pop song. And I will not argue with that. And to have the song, this is fucking amazing. Also, the plus, it's added. It's added. We're taking it. We're taking it. I didn't know that Lady Gaga could sound like this. I I knew Poker Face. I knew apparently like a little bit of paparazzi. That's what I thought she was going to be like. But this has surprised me. And this is amazing. <laughs> Careful. That bass. Oh, that fucking. Oh my god. I'm sorry. What are you doing to me? Rob. Robster. Mr. Rob O, right? Rob Fusari. That's it. The fucking bass. Oh my god. It's, it's funky. It's funky. The bass and then the guitars. And overall, just like. A natural fucking sound. Don't get me wrong. I, apparently, obviously, I love 808s, but I also love a natural bass. Electric guitars. I look, you don't want it to end. Rob Fusari is giving me little Mark Ronson vibes with his uh, production style. I, I, I actually don't want the song to end. Like, this has been the, the fucking amazing. Overall, the entire experience, I would say it kind of reminded me of uh, when I listened to Adele's 19. Because the same, I thought, I thought Gaga was going to be mainly uh, like this very electronic club music. But uh, this right now surprised me and a lot of the other songs in between that we have had so far, AA, Nothing Else, Beautiful Dirty Rich, a lot of these songs have actually surprised me in the way they sounded. And I'm very fucking glad it did. But that's what I had uh, said about the Adele 19. Because when I think of it, I only know like fucking ballads of hers. So 19, when it came out quite very a lot of different genres in that one um i was also pleasantly surprised because i live for the music bitches that's what i'm here for yeah of course don't get me wrong uh lyrics are cool and all but music and melody always comes first for me personally you can have music without lyrics but you can't have just lyrics without music that's just like slam poetry it it, it doesn't work but you can have music without lyrics and this has been amazing and she did a fucking amazing job on this one and it has been a lot of fun and i'm actually like low-key a little sad i don't know but that last song damn we we ended on a high note which is why i would also end on a high note 